Nalathropathy means nine astalas of Lord Vishnu, which are all inclusive in 108 divya descents of him, situated in the districts of the Runovali and to the corn of Tamil Nadu, India. Here, in Nalathropathy astalas, we are going to see the Thurthula Vilimangulam, which has been also called as Irtai Thurpathi, since the two temples are very near to each other, in which the presiding deities have been called as Deva Puran and Ravanthalochanar. Here, First we are going to see the first temple of Thruthulavili Munghalam, in which, the presiding deity is Lord Deva Puran. Namalvar, one of the twelve staunch disciples of Lord Vishnu, who are commonly called as all wires, in his verses in Tamil language, has made Mangalas as Anam on this temple. There was a custom on those days that the sages were doing yagna, that is, one of the fire rituals of Hinduism, on a regular basis. By this process, the celestial gods would have been pleased, and, as the result of the yagna, the avir pagam, that is, the offerings to the celestial gods, would emerge from the holy fire, which could have been distributed equally to the Ostavik Balags, who are said to be the guardians of the eight directions. Having pleased with the offerings of Avir Pagam, the Ostavik Balags were very happy and had done their respective duties of governing the universe as per the correct schedule. As they had done their duties well, the people who were dependent on them were also doing well. Things had been moving very smoothly like this. One day a sage called as Suprapar wanted to show his gratitude by having done the yugna. For that, he wanted to select a best place which could best match the prerequisites of the yugna. He couldn't find a suitable place yet, and he searched for that for a long time. At last he came to a place where the various fruit trees of lush green in a grove, which had been filled with the chirping melodies of the singing birds. On having seen that greenish and divinely rich place, the sage Superbar had decided that it would be the apt place for conducting the yugna. So after having decided, he made ready that place by pluffing thoroughly. While having plowed that land, he had been disturbed by something buried under the ground. When having dug those things out from the ground, there he could find two things together, namely a bow and a bunce. While having seen those things with astonishment, he began to touch them. What a surprise, that balance had become a lass, and the bow turned into a lad.
the young lady and the young man began to tell their previous birth stories to the sage Suprabhar. At their previous birth, they were a newly married couple and had been playing the game of romance, enriched with full of lust, in the open forestry area, without having cared anybody around them. At that time, they happened to see one celestial god, Kaburin, that is, the god of wealth, having passed over them, on the sky. On having seen his appearance, in their romantic mood, they had mocked at him. Having disturbed by the mockery of that couple, Lord Kaburin cursed, that last to become a balance, as she didn't have any degree of dignity within her, and cursed the lad to become a bow, as he didn't have any aim within him, just by sinking in the pond of lust. He also told them, their cursed retrieval, that later when, a sage called Suprabhar had come to that place, and while he happened to plug that land, they would have been unearthed and would become normal thereafter. That's what had happened on that day. The sage Suprabhar had known the significance of that land, and he became very happy about it, for he at last found a suitable place for his yugna. The sage Superbar became very clear enough that those two things bow and the balance had exposed two facts clearly. One was, like the balance there would people come in the future with having got the virtue of balance justice. Suppose, if the balance justice became unavailable, Lord Vishnu would incarnate in the earth, just like the bow, from which the justified arrow would perish those wicked people. So he called that place as the Lai Vili Mangalam, meant in Tamil, the Lai means the balance, and Vilu means the bow, and Mangala means wealth enriched area. After having made all the prerequisites, he had well finished the Yakna. As a result of that successful Yakna, the Avir Pagam had emerged from the holy fire, and he dedicated that Avir Pagam fully to the celestial gods. Having accepted that of your pogam, the celestial gods had thanked Lord Vishnu, for that fine feast given by the grace of him. Lord Vishnu, with his consorts Sri Devi and Budevi, had also appeared before them. The celestial gods, on having seen Lord Vishnu in that posture, had requested him to reside there, as in that posture always. What we have seen in this temple is, the same, what the celestial gods had wanted Lord Vishnu to be. Now this temple has been seen on the bank of the river Tamaraburani, as if seen in the neglected area. This Stala Thula Vili Mangalam, has been called as Raghu Dosa Parigara Stalam, which means, those one, who have been affected by the ill effects of the planet Raghu, might come here for their change of ill effects to good hereafter. This place has been away from Parangalam, within the reach of 5 kilometer, 